how are y'all doing today? So I filmed everything like two weeks ago and I hate it. We are going to use like little bits of film and then I'm just gonna do the rest of this. I look frightening. I just realized how scary I look. We're gonna move my bed and my couch and just rearrange that part. My whole plan was to move my bed into that little nook. So I was worried I was gonna hit the poster so I had to take off the headboard anyway. And I was trying to find a way to take off the headboard because I didn't know how to take off the headboard. And I did not have the proper tools to do it. So yeah, I I was thinking about this for a long time. It's just gonna like, then I would have to do this and then this and then blah, blah, blah. And so I finally did it. Cause yellow. So here is the overview of my room, which is absolutely disgusting. Sometimes I get into these moods where I just don't fold any of my clothes and I just leave them on the ground for weeks because I'm just so lazy to put them up for some reason. Yeah, as you can see, everything is a mess. It is not good. So we have to clean before we do anything. So basically whenever I clean, I have to do this routine or else I'm like gonna get unmotivated and just not clean. One of my th routines is that I have to clean my bathroom first or else it's like, no, you can't. It's kind of like whenever you have to take a shit, right? Like you've been looking, like you gotta do it. And it's been like, you know, it's stuck in your asshole all day. Like you've been holding this poop in because you just have not found the right time to do it because you've just been so busy. But first, you know, like you gotta pee. So like that's the bathroom is like peeing. You gotta pee before you release the mother load. You know? Okay. Thank you for understanding. That was my TED talk. I just like Cloroxed everything. I finally like cleaned the mess out of my um, trash and just cleaned everything. Putting away your clothes is one of the most annoying things, but like when you do it after, it's so satisfying. Like you're just like, wow, wow, like wow. Okay, so I had to start off my plan with moving my bed. I was very thorough, okay? I had to think everything through because my room is right above my parents' room and my dad likes to go to sleep early because he likes to wake up early for some reason. And so he's asleep by like nine every night or like sometimes eight, even seven sometimes. And so whenever I make the slightest noise, he texts me and he's yelling at me. And so I needed to like, do everything super slowly or else I would get murdered. So I had to like move everything onto my carpet because then it like muffles the sound. I feel like get everything out from underneath my bed and so I have to move my bed in order to get the headboard out. This was like a pain in the ass because I had to lift the bed up because the mattress was blocking the bolts. But I then I had like it was so hard and I like every time I moved like it made a bang and I was like I'm gonna be I'm gonna be grounded and just die. Like it was exhausting. I was exhausted at this point, so I just had to have a little cereal break. Alright, we're getting back to the grind. After my little cereal break, I'm gonna have to poop anyways. But you know, that just comes with the lactose intolerance. Now we're back at it again with the white bands. This was the hardest part, like just getting the headboard undone and then moving the headboard was so hard because it was so heavy and I had to place it down like without like making, oh, it was, imp it was impossible. I'm taking off this face mask. I cannot do it anymore. My face is moist. I'm finally getting the headboard off. We're making progress, all right? I have to turn my bed 90 degrees so it fits into my little corner. This, this was the breaking point, all right? This is what, this was gonna make or break our night because I literally had to like move my bed inch by inch so it wouldn't wake my dad. And like, this is a heavy ass bed, all right? And like, it was, oh, it was so bad. So I finally get it in. <laughs> That's what he said. Oh, might I also say that I pulled my back while I was moving my bed? And then we're finally done. We're moving everything back. 
moving it, removing it. You know, you just gotta clean everything up. Oh, oh my God. We put the bed in the corner. I don't know how I feel about it. It's interesting. I like having the bed in the corner. I just don't know what to do about like this area. Cause it's just like awkward for the chair to be there. And like, I don't know where to put this rug or where to put the freaking headboard in the ladder. Anyways, here's an update. It's been about two weeks since I've moved the bed. Best decision of my life. It's just kind of awkward because I just have this big like space and I don't know what to do with it. I love literally having my bed in a nook. It's like a whole different, I've like slept like no other. Sleeping in a nook is one of the best, like I, I don't know like the vibes or something being like encompassed by something. I don't even know what to say. Like I, I can't even explain it, bro. I know this wasn't a classic little vlog. Um, we're trying it out. We'll see if this turns out like I want it to turn out. Bye. Ladies, if you love your man, show him you the flyest. Ride in your pony, boy, show him what you got it. Proof in the proof. So basically my room's a mess. We're gonna fix that today. If only I could find the fucking remote. I gotta pee, but then I don't have to pee. What the fuck is up, Richard? No, what the fuck is up, Kyle? And it's what the fuck, Richard? Good night for now.